Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Oblivion. This is part three of my series and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. Hopefully this will not crash because I did do a little bit of alteration in real life, not in game. That may make recording and editing this stuff a lot easier than it has been recently. So, what quest line are we going to go with? We are going with the Dark Brotherhood, of course, because I love the Dark Brotherhood. Okay, let's show a map, and we will go to the waterfront, which is a place we're going to have to go back to anyway at night. And it is having one of those white screen moments, but it will recover in a second. There we go. All right. So, hopefully this is running smoothly. I'm actually running it native 4K now, and there is a weird shadow over there. This is actually not where I want to go. We do want to go there sometime soon. Now, there are two ways you can take care of this. There's an easy way and a hard way. Well, the hard way isn't really that difficult either, but um, the hard way, the easy way, if you can call it that, is if you jump over don't hide in the crate i'm going to just demonstrate this really quick if you jump over this onto that platform there's a door there that is very hard now if you got enough lock picks or somehow you you know i guess you did like the what do you call it like the dupe glitch or whatever for it which we might actually do just for you know ease of use for later lock picking things because i kind of hate the lock picking mini game we might actually do that right now we have any scrolls uh, i think we might have a singular scroll but i think we need to have two don't we um one of the market district we'll just do it the regular way this time and do the dupe glitch later for it um but we just got to get stowed away on this thing more or less in one of these crates and then we're just going to kill basically all the pirates inside you can try to do this stealthy I'm sure you probably could pull it off if you wanted to. I just, I don't think you, I don't, I, I think I've done it once. But it's not very easy and it's not very rewarding either. But, um, there's nothing in there I want. Nothing there either. Usually there's nothing in anything that's like a barrel or a sack. There's pretty much nothing ever in that stuff. So you can more or less skip those almost all the time unless you're an alchemist and you're trying to get like food and like do stuff with food in this game but i don't really think i think most of the stuff is just junk isn't it yeah i'm telling you lad it's bad luck let's turn on subtitles really quick so you can actually hear this better um can you turn on subtitles? i know you, i'm pretty sure you can and play I don't general subtitles and dialogue subtitles there we go. A woman on board a pirate vessel. <laughs> Back in my day it never would have happened. Oh come now, how many times has What's that? Has saved our necks, huh? Captain Tussaud keeps her on for a reason. Nothing in there. Nothing in there either. How could I forget? That time we were almost dashed upon the rocks near the city of First Hold. That was somebody else at the helm. I told you a million times it wasn't my fault. The wheel was covered with gold droppings. My hands slipped. It could have happened to anyone. Well, it's never happened to Malvolus, has it? You know why? You can actually sleep in this bed. Alexa, stop. You mark my words, boy. That dark elf trollop is bad luck. The captain will end up dead with her around. You'll see. That's racist. You better watch your tongue, old man. Captain Tussaud hears you talking like that. He'll cut it out. Now, come on. We've been gabbing long enough. Where are you? They can hear me regardless, I'm pretty sure. Showing your face was the last mistake you ever made. Uh, he can keep his, his everything, because none of that's worth even carrying. He'll take the gold, though.
I'll just kill him because why not? Oh, he has a nice cutlass we can take and sell. That's worth something. That's worth something too, I guess. Iron sword of some kind. Captain's cabin. So it wasn't that hard regardless, but, um, you know, you could have done that stealthy if you wanted. He's dead. I must return to the sanctuary and speak with Vicente Veltieri for my, um, take that, take his key. Take this Nern route because that's something we're gonna need later. Take his emerald and his gold. Just kill them because they're gonna give us some loot that we can sell. About it. See. We're not gonna. All right. So if you if you want if you want spoiler don't want spoilers on the Thornier quest that might come up. Just go ahead and skip for about thirty seconds um, ahead. So I'll give you about a few seconds to skip your thirty seconds ahead. The thing is, I really don't. This is a spoiler part. I really don't feel bad about Thornier selling like goods that come from dead people because the thing is the entire economy is me going and selling loot from dead people so i don't understand you know really i don't see a point in trying to screw him over or ruin him in any way because i do that and convenient do i know you yes you do um Well, I don't have the note yet, do I? Okay. The Fighters Guild is recruiting. I don't care about that. Uh, I guess I gotta pay a beggar or something. Hey, Puny Ancus. I'm saving up enough for some. Uh huh. Uh, here's a coin. Thank you. you tell me about the Gray Fox. He's a fairy tale. Of course, it's all just made up to get. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He's a fairy. Of All right. Um. Every see was that hard. Are you looking? Yes. I want to work for him. I think I trust you enough to learn more about the grave. That's uh, that's right behind me. Thank you. Blessings of that. Now they'll actually let me talk to him about the thieves' gut, I guess. Okay. Um You say a beggar told you to seek me out? Good enough for me then. The beggars are the eyes and ears of the Grey Fox. Good. He is the King of Thieves in Cyrodiil. You could think of him as our guilt master, although he would deny that title. Alright, well, I wanna join. You don't look very trustworthy. I have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> okay. This better be good. I appreciate the gesture. Oh, that's great. That's really too much. Was that supposed to be? I won't fight. You're pathetic. That works for me. Everyone is here. Let's begin. The Thieves Guild is not a myth. We are followers of the Gray Fox, and I am his doyen. He did make Methodel look really good. You have passed the first test. It's unusual for us to have three potential recruits at the same time. Hubba, hubba. <laughs> Rather than the normal test of skill, I'm going to make this a contest. That's not fair. Methodel, you know the rules. However, for Amuse and the newcomer, let me state them clearly. Whoever brings me the diary of Amantius Electus without killing him will be invited into the guild. Ha! I'll have it before sunrise! It's somewhere in the Imperial City. The beggars will help you locate it for a price. I can sell you lockpicks if you need them. One more thing. You cannot kill each other during this trial. We may be thieves, but we're not murderers. Okay. Hmm. Maybe he lives in the Elven Garden.
gardens district. That doesn't matter. Yes. What about some lockpicks? Here you go. Here you go. Well, we're just gonna do the dupe glitch anyway to get the lockpicks. Um, we are not going to do it that way because that way is a pain in the butt. Uh, what we're actually going to do is just wait for Methrodel to bring the thing here, and then we're going to steal it from her. Because that's a lot easier. And that's what I did in the original Let's, Let's Play. So... Um... Oh wait. Greetings, Bosma. Are you serious? What's going on with you? I heard people saying they ran into goblins around here not long ago. I can't stand those things. Poor beast. I'm gonna save and try something. I hate the things. Actually, no. We we got time. That was easy. Um, not in here. It's good. Uh, come on. Uh, got his diary. Good. Goodbye. Go over here and turn it in, and she's not going to do anything about it. She's just going, oh, something, something, but she still gets in. I think if you fail completely, which I almost did right there, hopefully he's still there. Yeah, he's still there. Are you confused? Right, here's the here's the thing. Congratulations, you have returned with the diary. You have you now owe your loyalty to our guild master. What are the rules? First, never steal from another member of the guild. I already did that. Second, never kill anyone on the job. This is not the Dark Brotherhood. Animals and monsters can be slain if necessary. Third, don't steal from the poor. The peasants and beggars are under the personal protection of the Grey Fox, particularly here on the waterfront. Okay, thank you. Um... You need more experience. When you've contributed... Okay, so tell me... Best source of information are the best. However, be prepared to spend a little coin. They won't tell you. I've never actually talked to the beggars about a heist. All right, so. Good thing we have the Black Horse Courier. I don't. That's useful. He preaches in Anvil. Appeared right after the attack on the chapel. There sounds like the usual. All right, I've not gotten to that quest probably ever but we might in this playthrough just so I can see what it is but um I know one place we could always get into pretty easily which is if we want to steal stuff we'd still gotta go back to Vicente or whatever his name is um one thing I always do because it's easy is just go and pretty much raid the market district. Uh, that'll help you get rich, but I might not do that in this playthrough because I, I think I might want to have some more challenge than that. Uh, discount spells, I do want to go here. Ah, he's closed. Okay, well, obviously it's two o'clock in the morning. Hopefully he'll be up around 11 or so. Well, 12, I'm pretty sure he'll be open. Okay. Right. Edgar Votrin. Uh, what do you got? Look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Sorry about that. Had to cough. Okay, uh, what do you got? What do you got for me? Well, um, cost to buy is what I was looking for. 
Um, Starlight, that could be useful. These burdens very useful. Starlight would also be useful for because that would help us level up illusion. Um, minor life detection. They'll be kind of useful. I mean, about 60 feet for 10 seconds. It's not bad. And don't. Nah, I don't see anything else I really want. I was more looking for scrolls anyway, but Be seeing you. I will take the extra spells. Don't need a staff for anything. I don't honestly like staffs in this game. I think they're annoying. Because you have to recharge them and soul gems, and it's just not worth it. It's just not worth going all, through all that hassle. For me. Okay. Um. First edition. There's somebody that sells scrolls around here. Can I, I help thought. You? Mystic Emporium, maybe. Oh, they're not open. Divine Elegance isn't it. This guy. It's not this gun spells. It's somebody that sells scrolls around here, I thought. Maybe first edition does? I, I don't know. I know they sell books. I don't see. I'm Fintius, owner and proprietor of the first edition. Uh, do you have any scrolls? Do business. You have a very expensive one. Good lord. Document it. Uh, it increases, it fortifies endurance, willpower, speechcraft, and personality for 150 seconds, but it's seven grand. Jesus, I'm not interested. Thank you. Good day. I wonder if anyone actually reads that stuff. Copious coin purse. All right, Dornier. Yeah, I know you got a little bit of everything. What kind of? For the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Right, what do you got for me? Nothing. Goodbye, please. Okay. What is Fair of commerce. Mean? I don't think it really matters what type. What does that even mean? A gilded something. Let's see what that is. Oh, she makes potions. I'm not interested. Um, this place is never open for some reason. Antus Vannon, retired. Sleep late and read trashy books. I don't keep up with the Major's Guild affairs anymore. Yeah. Good day. I don't think he ever says anything worth listening to. He's just a dirty old man. <coughs> All right. So. Let's, um... You have do I have two scrolls? Or any amount of scrolls? Two different scrolls? I got two different scrolls, but I need two of one. Alright. So... Merchants and Fighting Chance isn't gonna have it. I thought there was a discount scrolls place. That's food. There's new merchandise might have something for us. Feel free to browse. All right, what do you got? Well, have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Uh huh. Um. What is with this? Okay. Amontius Electus is complaining about crime in the city. Someone actually. Well, that's... I didn't do it. Uh-huh. All right, let's uh, do something else. I'm only asking for a 
we could go back and work on the arena some because we do need to finish that up where is the arena there it is I like how the Imperial City is like shaped like America like North America if you ever noticed that it's kind of neat like a little tiny version of America oh yeah I gotta put on my thing and or he'll start whining about it you're a warrior now that ain't no joke they may not know your name, but the people out there, the sp they come to this arena to see you. So go out there and give the people what they want. I've seen the next one fight before. She's a Nord, very quick, very strong. She favors a long sword and knows how to use it. Don't un- All right. Would you consider the arena a guild? I guess you could. Not, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's kind of a guild. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. Raise your voices in cheer as we lower the gates and these two brave combatants face their destinies. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> shape warrior they'll probably have to ship her back to skyrim in pieces nice work here's your take all right look at you you keep coming uh-huh all right I, I don't i don't care what he's got uh, spellcasters that's what that's lovely i just don't care because owen never says anything interesting he really doesn't he's he's the most Boring character in the entire game. Good people of the Imperial City. Okay, the only person that may be more boring than Owen is the announcer. I don't even know why I bother pulling out the sword to begin with. I don't use it. Alright, let's let's get to... I hear you. We're just going to try to speed through the arena as fast as we can. So I need to go to sleep so I can level up. Let's do that really quick before we'll right after we turn it in. Alright, let's whoops, sorry, my bad. Alright, let's bring up uh willpower endurance and strength i'm not really worried about agility or speed because those two can get out of hand really quickly 
and affect gameplay. Gladiator. It's not very often I get to call somebody that. You're doing the blue team proud. <laughs> now go kill somebody before I get all weepy. All right. Sorry about that cough if you heard that. I don't know what's going on with me. Listen up. This next match is an outrage, but there's nothing I can do about it. You've got th the Argonian prisoners. Oh yeah, this one's kind of sad about the Argonian prisoners that if they kill me, they get to be set free, which is probably nonsense. Go ahead and make sure we save because I don't see it saying it auto save, so. To the arena. It looks like the yellow team has pulled a fast one by replacing their combatant with three Arconian prisoners. This should be interesting. Oh, man, they got some fight in them. What do these guys do? Alright, there's one more. Whoa, I got knocked down. Haven't had that happen in a long time. Good fight. As I said, I wish I could loot the bodies, but you're not allowed to. It'll just pop up a message saying you can't do that, and then like you have to move on. Right, let's, yeah, let's take a rest, actually. Only takes an hour to heal up fully. The yellow team surprised even me with that match. Three against one. You ain't gonna stop until you hit champion, are you? Well, good. The blue team needs. All right, let's uh, ready for a match. For that last match, this one should feel like a vacation. One Khajiit. One Khajiit with the heavy rain. Let's go. Let's -a go. This is going a lot smoother than I've expected. Oblivion's never been this stable before. Maybe they patched it finally. Whoa, getting some fight out of y'all now. Come on. Yeah, goodbye. It wasn't a vacation, but, you know, he brought it. Let's sleep for 14 hours. Well, not even 14. I think you can start fighting again at uh, 9.30 or something or 10. But yeah, we should be able to start fighting at 10.30, I would think. You showed that cat whose claws are sharper, eh? What's a gladiator without an arena to f Uh-huh. All right, so ready for match. Next one's a Breton. He looks like a bit of a dandy, but he's deadly with a blade. He has more experience. A dandy? That's that sounds that sounds offensive. Not very that's not very politically correct. A dandy. Good people of the Imperial I wish he would just shut up and lower the gates. Supposed to be impressed. Die, Imperial. Die. Show me what you've got. This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death.
your light armor skill has increased. Your light armor is, is like a second skin uh, all these days and weeks wearing it. You have learned to move easily in combat as an apprentice of light armor. Your gear no longer is damaged. Um, it's no longer damaged as swiftly from combat. Okay. I haven't thought about damage of the gear in a while, but he's dead. Hoping this is the right door, because... Is that a blue... Is the other one yellow if you walk through it? Oh, they're both blue. Okay, well, we'll see. It'll tell me I'm going the wrong door. This is the door to the yellow team's red room. You are not authorized to enter this area. I wonder. Well, there's probably nothing there because that prompt comes up. It's not like a locked door that you can just cheat unlock. I'm guessing it's probably just a clone of the other one if it was something. Athletics has increased. By defeating that Breton, you've secured your advancement. It's been a long time since I've said this, but congratulations, hero. Right? You're about to face off against the best the yellow team has to offer. Azura knows you're the best the blue team. All right, so let's go. The first yellow team hero you'll face is an imperial. Thing is, this guy used to be a blade. You know those guys who protect the emperor? He's a trained swordsman. So it's gonna be a lot harder in this round. But I think we can make it. All right, so let's check our magic really quick before we. I thought. No, hold on. Yeah, I do. Uh, let's see. Uh, we need to get heal minor wounds on number one. Uh, let's see. What is spark? Ten. Okay. Let's see. Shocking does ten. Flare does six. Old touch does fifteen. Not terrible. We also need to go ahead and put shocking touch, uh, not shocking touch, um, spark on there, protect on four. I'm not going to be as cocky in this fight because you don't know what could happen. A lot easier than I was expecting. From the blue team. Leave the arena now and rest. You earned it. Okay. Defeating an arena hero. You're a hero. Uh-huh. Okay, here. Yep. Blah blah blah, don't care. <laughs> That's terrible, but I just don't care. He's so boring. He just like generic tough guys talking. That's it. I'm about to say, could you wait like an hour for him for the announcer to shut up and then fight? Let's go. Oh, apparently my magic doesn't work on him, it looks like. 
Uh, so the magic doesn't work. All right. Man, that was that was a rough one. All hail the combatant from the blue team. Victor from the blue team. Leave the arena now and rest. You murdered it. That was a rough one. Well met. Okay. I'll be honest, hero. With the kinds of victories you've been having, I knew that elf did. He was kind of tough. You're at the end of a long road, hero. This is the last time you'll face off against the yellow team before being All right. to that arena and make sure the people of Cyrid. Let's go. Um, yeah. All right. This is it. Your last fight against the yellow. You're up against a swordsman, an archer, and a spellcaster. Two lower level combatants plus that yellow team champion. You beat all three and you get named champion. I know you can do this. Now get up there and show. Oh, wait, there's one more thing. I sent Pork Chop the Boar up to the arena to help you out. He'll at least keep one of them distracted. Now, good luck. Poor Pork Chop. Sending that poor thing up there to die. What did he ever do to you? Seemed like a good dude, pork chop, my buddy. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. I give you a blue team's hero. Can this brave combatant defeat three opponents and become the next champion? Well, let's go ahead and save here just in case something happens. That pork chop killed the champion. I didn't even have to kill her. Thanks, buddy. Seriously, pork chop killed the champion. Good job, buddy. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Let's go. No, I'm not the champion. Technically, pork chop is because he is he coming. Well, I guess he'll eventually come out. He killed the champ, not me. You did it. You beat him every last one. Do you know how long it will take for the yellow team to recover from this? <laughs> My friend, it is with great honor that I advance you to the rank of champion. You've done it. You've shown them all. You're the best. Well, almost the best. You're done competing in normal arena matches, but there's still the grand champion. Yeah, Kid, true. You've got more guts and skill. I think you can take the great prince. Go over and talk to Isabel if you think I'm right. All right, let's go heal up real quick. And actually, let's just go ahead and end this episode because now we're champ. And um, yeah, there's uh, some stuff going on that I want to do before we get into the grand champion stuff. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed doing it for you. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. Let them know that we're here because without you, there is no growth really. So, and it would make my day if you did tell somebody about the show if you do enjoy it. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Oblivion. Have a good night.